Okay, we're ready to start putting the glue on. I should have mentioned, I've also got my sand. So I went down to the local beach and just grabbed a whole bunch of sand and dried it out in the oven. Um, <clears throat> I was originally going to filter the sand, sort of, you know, put it through a sieve and try and get it all fairly consistent. And I thought, no, you know what, that's going to look so fake that I'd rather not do that. I think, you know, this is going to feel more natural if there's different sized grains, different sized, you know, textures. I think it's going to look a lot better and feel a great deal more natural and real. So, splodging the glue on, getting it into those little sort of cracks between things. Here's a couple of rocks that I previously tried to put into the groundwork and they didn't really glue. Um, the plaster just, you know, wasn't enough around them to do it. You're doing some lovely glue there. And, you know, in general I would recommend probably work on a small section at a time. You know, you don't want to put glue everywhere like I just did there. It's going to leave a bit of a texture. Okay. Um, and then with your sand. So I think probably the easiest way is going to be just sprinkling it on by hand. Obviously do this outside. You uh, definitely don't want to be doing this inside the house. And that's the first little bit. Oh lovely. And once it's dry, we will just blow the texture and we'll blow the excess off. But yeah, to me, it's looking pretty good. There's obviously way too much there, but it'll come off. The stuff that doesn't stick will come off, and we're going to be painting over the top of it anyway. So we're about half finished here. Uh, it looks a bit ridiculous at the moment. You know, there's all these bits of dirt and bits of leaf and stuff like that, which will obviously come out. Uh, it looks a bit over scale, perhaps, at the moment, and it's really, the sand is just splodged on in there. I haven't blown any of it off yet, but... Yeah, you get the sense of how it's coming along. Here are my daughter's ones, looking amazing. So this is the final result once all the sand is globbed onto the glue. Um, at the moment, it still looks pretty uh, unrealistic, I guess is the word. Um, I'm going to let the glue thoroughly dry before I blow off all of the sand. And my daughter splodged some sand onto paper. Yay! It looks amazing. I love it. And the cats joined me too. So, it's all happening here at Dave's Model Workshop today. Um, I will come back later on in a few hours time once the glue is dried, blow off all the sand, and we'll see what we have to work with. Okay, so the moment of truth will be to blow the sand off this to dry it for a few hours. Um, I'm going to try and tip the whole thing upside down and pour the sand back into my sand container just so I can use it in the future. But it does rather mean putting the camera down, so sorry about this guys. And this is the final result. So there's still quite a few sections where the sand didn't stick. Uh, I mustn't have put enough glue on there. But the sections where it has stuck are looking pretty good and you know we're not going to leave it looking just like this. There will be some painting involved I'm going to put another coat of glue over the top of it. So yeah I'll bring you back when I'm about to do that. We'll do some more footage. Cheers.